I think this is on. I just bought a new camera. I bought a new vlogging camera. Am I in the position to call it that? You know what? I'm gonna call it that. And I actually bought a new vlogging camera because, well, A, kind of hated the one I had before. <coughs> Hated is a strong word, but just didn't suit my needs. So I bought a new one. I bought the Canon 7X. What did I buy? Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. That's a pretty advanced name. So I bought that. I don't know if the settings is okay. I just put it up. I'm in my beauty room. As you can see, it's very messy around me. We just got home. I, I want to do more vlogs. You see the dog? <laughs> I want to do more vlogs. Um, not like, I'm not going to turn into a vlogging channel. I just, I want to do like, I've been enjoying, <clears throat> I should start from the beginning. My channel has always been about doing what I love watching. And I've been watching a lot of like weekly vlogs lately. And I really, really enjoy what they're doing. And I kind of want to be like, I can't, I want to be like the cool kids. <laughs> So I'm gonna do, at least this week, I'm gonna do a weekly vlog. This is Saturday night. Um, I have been filming. This is why, this is why I have this look. Do I have the... It's so messy around me. I really should be cleaning. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. Let me show you, let me show you what I used. Let me show you what I used. I have my little basket here. This is not it. Am I this? Oh, here it is. I didn't even have to go up. Why is there a tweezer stuff like this? I use the uh, Nabla Secret palette to do this look right here. This is what she looks like. So I use like the dark blue and the, and the black for the crease and then the the blue one here and then the play hard which is a like a lime green duochrome for the, the inner inner thing. And I had some matte lipstick on but now I just put some lip balm over. So I want to do, I want to do a week, weekly vlog, I cannot speak anymore, and I'm gonna try one this week and just tag you along for like everyday stuff, fun interesting stuff when it happens, because there is some fun interesting stuff ha happening in my life, and also like unpackings and outfits and just maybe some cooking, I don't know, I just, let me know what you would like to see, because I feel like I'm gonna take this in whatever direction I want it to be and also in whatever direction you want it to be. Does this make sense? Is the lighting okay? Do I look like a Cheeto? Yes and no. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be... I'm drinking a... The Sour? I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Apple cider with a taste of grapefruit, some kind of flower and green tea. It's... It's okay. Got this from my fiance. I'm gonna drink this and I'm gonna edit this week's new makeup releases because I filmed it before and I put my gum here because I'm horrible. I'm gonna take you with me because I got a bit of a... Is this okay? This is so cool. Um, We can... How is the lighting here? Because this lighting is so yellow. Maybe I need to get like auto something on. Is this where you're gonna be? Apparently, this is where the dog lives now. And... Uh-huh. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> okay, so I have some folders here from things like that I want to film. And then I have this, like, the new makeup releases from... The one I'm gonna be editing. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. Let me get this into... The editing thingy jingy. I'm using Vegas Pro if anyone's ever wondering. Ah, go get lost. And then, oh, maybe I should move these first because I hate when I don't move them. I think it's these. I always have a folder set up. Uh, it's this one. And now we can go in here. Um, and it's gonna be uh, this one. Just gonna take these in. So I'm basically gonna be editing for a while and 
seeing if I can get this done. As you can see, it is uh, Saturday. Maybe you can't see, but it's like 20 minutes past 9. So this is what I'm going to be doing my Saturday night. Oh, love that face. Love that for me. Beautiful. So I am going to be editing this throughout this evening. This is usually what my Saturday night is. I'm going to be editing this and I'm going to get it up. And <laughs> this is me poking my eyelashes. Like, why are they killing me? <laughs> so I'm going to get this done and I'll get back to you in a bit. I've just finished the first round of editing. I took my lashes off because I was a bit tired. I'm going to take my makeup off. Just when I edit these videos, maybe I should show you. Should I be showing myself in this state? Maybe not. Let me show you what I'm doing. It's 22.31. Let me see if I can. As you can see, it's half past 10. This is how I edit my videos. And now I put in, I've edited all the video and I put in tags where I'm gonna put in pictures. So tomorrow morning, I usually go up pretty early for a Sunday and I just put in all of the pictures and then I save it, like I render it and it usually takes like about an hour. So yeah, this is what I've been doing for quite some time. I'm actually gonna do something else. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! Um, I shouldn't be too loud because both uh, my fiance and Tesla is asleep. Only me and the cat is awake. I'm gonna give her some food. I'm brewing some coffee. And I'm gonna sit down now for like another hour or so and just finish up the Sunday's videos. This is basically me every weekend. I'm not complaining, I really like it. I just thought that at least for this vlog, I'd show you this. Thank you. I think she wants to go out. I think she wants food first. Sweetie, don't you want food first? Psst, psst, psst. I'm gonna get her some food. You want some food? You want some of this? Do you want some of this? Yakuta. Oh, was that yummy? Oh, that was yummy. Oh, that was so yummy. <laughs> she has one of these ledges that she can jump on. And then this one goes all the way to the floor so that she can jump up and be away from the dog. And then her toy that's here on the side. This one right here. <laughs> Do you want to go out? Oh, look at this place. Has it been windy? Has it been windy? And here she is. Are you feeling okay, sweetie? Are you looking at the birdies? <laughs> oh, my favorite kitty. Hmm. I'll let you be in here. Okay, we're taking a bit of a detour today. It's actually election day. Well, it's election for the European Union. Uh, and obviously we're voting. I have my hubby with me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, we are going to vote. We don't really know where we're supposed to go to vote. So we'll yes, figure we it out. We do? Did you check do. it out? I know where this Okay, we're going to a school. I think I've been there before, but I am not that good at finding places. Oh, my eyes are running. It's pollen season and it's, it's killing me. <laughs> After that, I'm going to get my, my video up. It's going to be a tad late today because we're going to do this, but this is more important than having that video up early. I don't really know exactly how I'm going to vote, which I usually do because I'm usually pretty well read up, but this time I'm not. I'm just actively actively going to vote against anyone saying that women cannot decide over their own bodies. That's what I'm going to vote for. Okay, so the cleaning has begun. Are you cleaning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made the bed, but we have still a lot of things to fix, like this pile of clothes and vacuuming, as you can see, and some laundry. Mm, I just made that bed. Hmm? Aww. Still in the middle of cleaning. The cat is chilling in the, in the other room. We are not done cleaning. But we are taking a lunch break. With warm veggies and... What is it called? Tomino? Tomini. 
Tumini. Tumini cheese. Um, ah, either one, one of them. It's a cheese, it um, goes very yummy and I don't know what to call it. Like soft in the oven. It's just vegetables and cheese. Vegetables and cheese. I swear I could live out of that. You don't have to give me anything else. <laughs> We are finally done cleaning. I look like I've been cleaning all day, but it's okay. It's okay because we're done. Are you tired? Are you done? Uh, this is not. <laughs> I was gonna film today, but actually, I just feel very tired, so I don't think I will. Because I mean, look at this. This is this is like my beauty room, and this is the things that I haven't really sorted out. Well. These are the giveaway prices for the two winners that's going to be in my giveaway. So that's not really that worrying. But I did move. I used to have like a small... I moved my small Alex and it is now here. So it's here right now. And I moved the plant to be over here. <laughs> the squeaky toy. And then I moved so that I can have more space here on the side. Oh, this is my old hair. It looks... Uh, not so good. So I'm gonna organize this one. Not right now because I cannot really be bothered. I should be filming but I don't feel like it. So I'm not. I think it's very important to not film when you don't feel like it. And I do have a day off work this week that's coming because there's actually it's a it's a holiday holiday day. Holiday? It's a day off. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to call it. This squeakness. But I do have a day off, so I'll be able to film then. What is going on with this squeaky squeak? Are you squeaking my squeakies? I think there's a cat here somewhere, so ow! Did you just throw that on me? No. Is, no, really? You're going with no? Mm-hmm, I see you. Here she is. Mm. Hi, cutie. Mm. You didn't like us cleaning, no. You didn't like that sound. You weren't too happy. Mm. I'm actually just gonna chill, I think, for the rest of the day. I don't think anything more fun is gonna happen today. Or is it, sweetie? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe I'll take a bath. A bath would be nice. Ooh, and I have wine. Ooh, I do have wine. Ooh, and we're eating nachos. I've been looking at too many Samantha March uh, videos, so now I wanted nachos and we bought avocado, but we have wine. Maybe I'll have some wine and a bath. Ooh. I'm all for that. Well, as I'm trying to take a bath and everything's just working against me. We just hung some clothes. <laughs> and... Uh, look at this. This is not sexy. Oh well. I'll, I'll jump. This this is a typical Swedish bathroom. It's, it's very far from sexy. Very far from sexy. And here I am. Very far from sexy. <laughs> but I'm taking a bath. I'm drinking my wine. And I am going to play a game. Oh my god, I found this game and I've been playing it so much. Let me see if I can show you. I love playing games. Oh, this one. I love playing games on like um, my phone, especially when I'm like on the train or the bus. Come on, come on. Especially when I'm on the train or the bus for like um, work. So I'm gonna be playing this for a bit. I'll try and remember and link it down below. I mean, this is not sponsored. I just really like this game. <laughs> I really like this. I think it's so cute. So I'll be playing this, taking a bath, drinking some wine. That's gonna be about it. With this lovely washing machine in the background. Delightful.
okay i am home i've been to work all day as you can see my morning starts very early and i am home now it's like uh well i've been home for like five minutes so i came home at half past five in the afternoon um by train and i went to pick up two packages and i found four packages at home which is weird my cat is drinking and i also left the package like i returned a dress from h&m uh, i bought it in the 36 and that is usually always my size uh, 34 or 36 i usually never have to change anything at h&m but that one was just a bit snug around my chest area i am a bit busty uh, i do have a lot like larger breasts than like the norm for my body type or like my body size so it was a bit snug around the chest area so i did return it but i've already ordered it one size up but i am gonna open these packages and then i'm gonna go edit and maybe have a sandwich so and i don't have anything fun planned for the rest of the week so i think i'll just get back to you a bit farther on in the week but let me see if i can put this up somewhere and i can show you what's in the packages because it's actually pretty interesting i don't know myself what's in all these so that's gonna be fun how is this how is this oh you like my shirt by the way it says exercise i thought you meant extra fries <laughs> i love it sweetie honey this is not for you this is not for semla are you the cutest kid in the world he's like mommy i don't want to snuggle i don't want to snuggle <laughs> but you can't like tip the camera over either. I'm gonna see if I cannot like show you my address. This one is from Gerard Cosmetics. I see it now when I uh, open it. I got a, let me see if I can open this. Should I have brought a knife? Probably. I am affiliated with Gerard Cosmetics and sometimes I get PR credit on the site, which means that I am able to order things from the site as PRs. So I can choose them myself. So I decided this is very fast shipping. I didn't think that this was going to be this fast. So I ordered a bunch of lipsticks and li <laughs> you see the tail? <laughs> a bunch of liquids, uh, a bunch of lipsticks and liquid lipsticks that I actually didn't have. Because uh, I want to do a lip washing video for you because I really enjoy both the uh, lipsticks and the liquid lipsticks from Gerard. So I bought a couple of shades that I didn't have. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get a picture up on Instagram with these. I do have a code with Gerard, and I uh, have that down in the description box in case you're interested. I got Kiss and Tell Merlot Fire Engine Grape Soda, and I got Kimchi Doll. Those were the lipsticks I got, and then I got Mudslide 90210 Groupie Boss Lady and Iced Mocha. And those are the liquid lipsticks I bought. Basically the shades, almost all the shades that were available that I like already don't, like I don't have already. I cannot speak. I'm really like, I'm craving a snack. So that was actually really nice. Thank you so much to our cosmetics for um, letting me pick these out. I think Tesla's back home. Fiance just came home and let the dog in. But yeah, I'm really excited to be able to swatch this for you because I really do enjoy the formula. I'm not sure I'm gonna let you be here, sweetie. The dog is here as well. So yeah, that was in package number one. Let's see what is in package number two. I should really, I should really go get like a knife or something. Okay, eh, I got a knife and also got cat hair in my, um, in my mouth. This is from Colourpop and this is not the order that I made from Colourpop. This is actually a PR package from Colourpop which is super exciting. So let's see what they sent because normally normally I know what Colourpop sends me but this time let's see if I can not show my address to you. Uh, this time I actually I don't know what they sent me because I actually didn't get like a we sent you stuff. Uh, my code is still valid. It is 5 uh, Angelica or 5 Angelica. 5 Angelica. That is my code. And if you use that, there is a one time use code and you'll get $5 off your order on Colourpop. Uh, it is not affiliated. So I do not make any money out of that one. So let's see what's in this. Ooh. That's. That's exciting. I don't. I, I honestly. I never know like what people get because. I'm not that, like, I don't see what kind of PR the Colourpop sends out. This is... Ooh, I got one of these glitters. Glitterly Obsessed. 
um, Intersection and All Talk. Oh, these are two juicy, like, so juicy glosses. I'm guessing these are new colors because I don't think I have these. Uh, it's a liquid liner. Uh, I am using that. It's not my favorite liquid liner. I did get another one now. Maybe I'll give that to someone else to try. I don't hate it, but I also do not love it. This is the... <gasps> oh, yes. This is the mascara in yellow. Yay. So excited. And then it's... Is it three super shock shadows or is it a yellow jelly shadow? How do you open this one? Why is this like... How do you open this? Where did I put the knife? Problems. These problems. Okay, let me see what's in this. Okay, so it is... Oh, this seems to be a bit smooshed though because sometimes the super shock shadows get like that. This is uh, photosynthesis. Uh, uh, jelly shadow. This is thimble. Super shock chic. Looks really pretty. And then it's... Here we go again. This seems to be a super shock shadow. Both of these are a bit smushed, but that's okay because you can always just smush them back. This is actually a palette and I don't have this. This is the double entendre and I think this is one of their very neutral palettes. Ooh, I really like the packaging though. Sweetie, you hear the dog? Honey, honey. I really do like the packaging though. Oh yeah, this is, wow, this is neutral. Wow, so this is what she looks like. This is the double entendre. Um, extremely neutral. Not really my cup of tea. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. I'll take a picture of it for sure, but it's not really my cup of tea. But, you know, never say never. Who knows, maybe I'll suddenly feel the urge to go all in with neutrals. Probably not. Next package. Oh, this is from Look Fantastic. This is probably the monthly subscription box because they said that they were gonna send it to me, but I still haven't. How do I open this? Why did I get? How did I get glue on my finger? These the things I do. So this is probably the monthly subscription box. Oh, I love this color. Look at this. Maybe I should open these boxes in my vlogs. Should I do that? Uh, I'm not gonna open this now. I think I'm gonna do a video with this one and the glossy box uh, But let me know down below if you would like me to open these uh, Boxes in like a vlog in the future because I could totally make that happen the next package is from Yeah, this was the one that I didn't know what it was from like I was standing at the postal office and I was like I just looked at it and he was like is there something wrong? I'm like no, I just don't know who this is from and he thought I was stupid because he was like who gets packages and don't know where they're from and I mean I didn't want to argue with him at the point but I mean the man's got a point the man's got a point I just don't really know what this is let me see what this is Ugh. seems to be some kind of a box don't know how do I not know what this is oh now I know what this is oh I'm so excited I've talked to the owner of uh, Rapper Rapper brushes is that how you pronounce them and he asked me oh yeah here it is Rapper and he asked me if he could send me some brushes to try and I said sure so this is the core set these are made in Japan and I love the other Japan like Japanese brushes I have. So I'm super excited to be trying these out. I'm actually really excited to be trying this out and the owner seems super sweet and these seem very nice. But I'm gonna try this out and I'm gonna let you know in a future video how I feel about these. But I'm actually super excited to try these out. So thank you so much for sending these my way. Like thank you Colourpop and Look Fantastic as well. I cannot believe how lucky I am to get things to show you. This <laughs> is from Eden Minerals. Uh, they asked me if they can send me some of their new items uh, and I didn't want to receive all of the items because there was only one thing that I was actually like intrigued to try. So I asked them if it was possible for them to only send me that thing. And I know that for some people it is probably like, for some brands it's weird when someone says you know what i don't want to receive some pr because i do say no to a lot of pr actually uh, or if they say you know what i don't want to receive all of this i just want some of it and um, i don't know if eden thought that but i kind of hope that they didn't think that because 
uh, they are coming out with some new lip products and a face palette and I asked them uh, if they could just send me the face palette because I think that that one is more up my alley but this is the first face palette from Eden Minerals thank you so much for sending this my way these are basically the shades they have for the face but just stuck in one palette together this one actually looks super cool and pretty it's like some shimmery shades and then it's some matte shades Oh, it seems to be two more metallic shades, illuminating, it's like a highlighter, illuminating blush. It's also probably a good highlighter if you have more of a medium skin tone, you can mix them. Illuminating bronzer and bronzer. I have used all of these except this product from before and they're actually quite nice. And they also gave me a face definer brush. I'm guessing this is the brush that they recommend with this product. I'm super excited to try this. I am always excited about Eden Mineral. Oh, this is a small brush. Is this really? Maybe this is more of a highlighted brush. I think I have this maybe. Maybe I'll put this to the side because I think I might have this one. Okay, this is the last box. I don't really know what this is from. Oh, this package. This makes me emotional. Um, oh god, I did not pick this package up myself. I did not pick this package up myself. This was waiting for me at home when I got home. My, my fiance had picked it up from outside the door and I didn't look at who it was from until I sat down now and looked at it because I was just like, I'm gonna unpack these things and then I'm gonna edit a video. And now I looked at it and it's from Julia's place. Oh god, I'm so so excited thank you so 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 much for sending me anything anything at all you know i am such a big supporter of uvs place i buy pretty much everything they release and uh, i've only received one thing from them in pr from before so this is the second time I'm receiving PR from Juvia's Place. I am affiliated with Juvia's Place, so I do have a code with them. So I'll always have that down below in case you want to order something. Guys, it's the foundation. It's the foundation. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Velvety Matte Foundation, 42 shades. Oh my God. Look at this! What? Oh, oh! I'm so excited! Oh my God! There's so many stuff in here. <laughs> they sent me another one of these. Like I already have this, but thank you. Oh, thank you so much. That is so sweet. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ooh, there is a pouch. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm gonna save this forever. Okay. Oh my god. How many... F how many foundations are these? This is Vienna 700. Oh, this is what they look like. This is a very good tube for just chucking in your bag if you're the kind of person that d does your makeup on the go. I bring a lot of makeup traveling, so for me this will be something that will go traveling with me as long as it's a good one. I am going to do a video trying these out for sure, for sure. And you probably already saw that when this video goes up. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh! I'm so excited. I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich and then I'm gonna edit. Uh, if something else exciting happens during these just weekdays, I'll come back to you and show you. Other than that, I'll see you on Thursday because on Thursday is actually a bank holiday here in Sweden. I don't know really what to call it. It's called like we are celebrating the day according to the Bible that the, that Christ went back to heaven. I, I mean, Sweden is not really a very religious country, but a lot of our like bank holidays are still based on like religious events or stuff like that. So I'm gonna be home from work on Thursday and probably Friday as well. So I'm gonna be doing some filming and maybe some shopping. And if so, I'll tag you along. But yeah, this was so exciting. Oh my God, I am so excited. So ex beyond excited. So excited. Okay. Hello, good morning. It is Thursday. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday was just work, work, work. I see a cat hair. 
and I see a cat. It was just work, 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 uh, and now it's Thursday morning, and this is a bank holiday in Sweden. We call it a red day in Sweden because Sundays in Sweden are marked with red in the calendar, and every day it's a bank holiday or any kind of holiday, they mark them with red as well, so they, therefore we call them a red day. I don't know if it's like this in other countries, but in Sweden we call bank holidays to be a red day. So that's what it is today, and I am not at work. As you can see, I'm drinking some coffee. Fight like a princess. And I had a shower. I've done a face mask. I did the Pixie in shower face mask. I think it's really nice. It's not super hydrating, but it's like a... I don't know. It's just warming and cozy feeling. And I do feel like my skin does feel fresh, but I do need to use a moisturizer for sure. I mean, you need to do that after a mask anyways. Who am I talking about? So... I just went out on the balcony. I'm gonna be filming today. I'm actually gonna be filming quite a bunch of videos. So I think I'll start with that like now. Well, I need to fix my hair, obviously. And maybe we can like, I don't know, go shopping or something. I wanna go shopping. I live very central in the city, but this city isn't big. It has like 850,000 inhabitants. Which is, I mean, not small, but not big either, but Sweden isn't a big country. I think we have like 10 million altogether and like 2 million of those live in Stockholm. So this is a, in Sweden measurements, it's a big city, but obviously it's not, it's not a big city. So I am gonna, um, I think I'm gonna go a downtown. I live very close to the, the city core. We, we call it that in Sweden, city core. I live very close to that, so I have like five minutes walking and I'm outside of H&M, so I might go to H&M. Kind of feeling that, so let me do some filming and I'll be back once I have the makeup on and I've done all the filming. It's probably going to be a while because I think I'm going to film like three videos, maybe four. I need to pre-film a bit before uh, our vacation because we are leaving in less than a month and I haven't prepared anything. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, so I have been filming. You can see this look right here. I think it's really pretty. Uh, and I have been filming all day and I am gonna head out now. I'm just getting the files over to my computer. My dog is awake. He usually sleeps during most of the day because he knows the most activity is like in the evening. <laughs> I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go shopping. Maybe I'll show you a bit. I don't know how awkward I'm gonna be filming in the store, but I'm gonna show you a bit. Uh, it is a red day today in Sweden, so the stores are closing at four, but it is, it is half past one. That's how long I've been filming. I started filming at like, I don't even remember when, but I think like half past 10. Could that have been it? That could have been it. But I've been filming two, three, four videos today. One with some check-ins. I'm gonna do some check-in on this foundation. I am wearing the Juvia's Place foundation for the first time today. I am wearing it in uh, Alexandria, that it's my shade, and I'm mixing the concealer shades in 18 and 20. So I'm gonna do some check-ins on that during the day as well and see how it wears. It's really muggy weather in Sweden today. It's really cloudy, but not raining, I hope. But it's really windy, so I'm gonna put my hair up, I'm gonna change my outfit, I'm gonna show you what I changed into, and then we can go out, because I wanna go and see. I have like two stores that I wanna visit. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so this is what my outfit looks like. I am going out. I am wearing this bag is from Topshop. Uh, it's quite new. You can see my old clothes are in the background. Uh, jeans are from H&M. Shoes are from ASOS. They're like, like short heels and I really like that for like every day in leopard print. This blouse is very out there. It's with a lot of eyes on it and it's from Monkey. I think I got it at ASOS. This leather jacket has short sleeves and it's old and it's from H&M. I put my hair up a bit because I just couldn't be bothered. My watch is... This is a Michael Kors, I think. And that's gonna be everything. I don't know if you've like ever like noticed... Oh like ever really noticed but I have a pretty like eclectic um like style of dressing I don't like all black outfits I never wear black like all black outfits and I love patterns and I love color and I love mixing patterns and yeah so this is how I'm gonna go out now and yeah let's get into the world and do some shopping
Oh my god, I love this print. It's one of those satin skirts. Oh my god, I love that. I so want to try that. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> Definitely try that. This dress in like a linen-ish fabric. I don't know if it is linen. It does say that it's premium quality though, so maybe it is. But I did just recently get a dress like this, but it's actually super pretty. Okay, this is the first outfit. This is the beige dress that I showed you. This is really, really pretty, but it is a bit big. I brought this out in the 36, which I think is a... I don't really know. But a 36, but this is like my usual size, but it is a bit, bit too big. I could probably have gone down the size. So this is just a bit big in size, but this is beautiful. I wish it had pockets though. That would have been beautiful, like such a nice summer dress. Just a tad too big. Oh, and maybe I didn't tell you, but I am at Gina Trikoa, which is a, I think, Swedish brand, or is it Danish? I'm not sure, but it's from one of the Nordic countries, and I'm pretty sure it's available at Salando, and I'm pretty sure Salando uh, ships worldwide. I will check this up and link it down below, but, but I'm in their store right now in Inchoping, which is a really good store, actually. So yeah, that's the first dress. Okay, this is the second dress that I took in. This is one of those really popular dresses right now that has like a cup like this, but I have my boobies down here, but I have pretty, like, I'm pretty chesty <laughs> for my size. But this is more true to size. This is also 36. I have a bit room to spare, but it's more like accurate to size. It has nice like puffy sleeves. It goes just over the knee. It's the perfect 90s feeling that's really in right now. I think it's super cute. I do have a couple of dresses like this though, but if you were still looking for one, I do think that this is really pretty. It also came in green, which was also really pretty. <laughs> I really needed to bring in a white like t-shirt to try with this. This outfit right now makes me look like I ran away from the circus. But this is the skirt that I showed you in the beginning. It is a satin, silky material. It's very thin, so the quality is not like A+, plus, but it breaks just on the ankle. Super nice and flowy. This is a 36. I could probably go down a size, but I do like that it's not too clingy. This is stunning. Like, I love how this looks. It's so cool. Imagine this with like a chunky knit or like a gray sweatshirt. That would be so cool. Oh, I love this so much. It looks like I ran away from the circus. But gosh, this is pretty. Mm. This is another skirt I decided to bring in. It's a double layered. It's like a cotton fabric and then it's like got this lace detail. It's actually super pretty. This is a bit more true to size. This is also 36. It goes really high on the waist. Obviously not with this top. <laughs> but it's super beautiful. I've been really into like shorter skirts lately and I could totally go for something like this. I think I'm gonna see at home though what I have that's similar at home before I get something like this. But this is beautiful. They also had this in white. But you know I'm not all about that. But I like this pattern and it has those colors that I like. I like clay colors. It's super pretty. This is the last piece that I brought in. This is like a tie-dye t-shirt with like blue, then to white, then to this peachy coral. It's a bit cropped so you can tuck it in really easy and it's so pretty. Like, I love this. This is also very true to size. I think this is in a small. They do have extra small as well, but this fits me perfectly. I love this. So pretty. I think it's really affordable as well. Let me check. Well, not that affordable, but pretty, pretty affordable. But this is pretty. I like this as well. I don't know how much I would use it outside of summer though. So same here. I might need to go home and see what I have. But it is so pretty. I just never go for... I normally have like a super busy bottom and then something easy on the top. This is not easy on the top. And I don't know if I have any busy bottoms that would work with this. But ooh, I love it and it's so on trend. This dress I've actually tried. It's super pretty. It's just not exactly what I was looking for, but it's a very, very pretty dress. This dress is so pretty, but I'm not really a person who wears like cute little girly dresses like this. At least not all white, so uh, it's cute, but not for me. Oh my god, why am I living for this t-shirt and these colors? These are my colors. 
I also love this pattern, but I don't like I like I don't like ties in the waist. That's not my thing. But this t-shirt is beautiful. This would go so well with the skirt I just bought. Hmm. I wanted to do like like show you what I bought out of the things I showed you because I did buy two things well three if you count hair clips but there's a bit of a sound action don't have any lipstick on uh, I changed my back to my sweater because I've been home for a bit I watched two episodes of Outlander and I ate some hamburgers because I really felt like it. Well, I ate one hamburger. Calm, calm your tits. But let me see if I can get this squeak, squeaky thing to stop. And maybe I can show you what I got. I got two things. Well, maybe three things. I got, I got the skirt that I showed you. This one. <laughs> You're so... Do you like it? Mm-hmm. I thought you were talking to them. What? Them and you. I was wondering when you showed it, as you're showing it again. Would you like it? Yes. Okay, that's good. I also bought the t-shirt from H&M that I showed in store, but I didn't try it, so I hope it, I hope it fits me. Well, it's a, it's a small, it should fit me. I think that these will be good together. Mm -hmm. I really think so. I really like it. I like the color scheme of this. This is basically my color scheme. And then I bought two things while I was in line to pay. You know, people... People buy candy, like in line to pay, I buy hair clips. But they're like little seashells. Maybe I should take this and I can show you. You can get your squeaky thing back. Okay, so this is what the clips look like. They're like little like seashells with like pearl and gold. Very 90s mixed with like today's fashion. What's going on here? Can I help you, sir? You're very being very noisy. Hmm? You want your squeaky toy bag? I have it right here. You want this one? You want it? Do you want it? Is this yours? Is this the one you want? <laughs> yeah, this is yours. Good morning! Well, is it good morning or is it good lunch? I think it's more like good lunch. <laughs> I've been up for a bit. I fixed today's video. I edited my thumbnail. Um, today's video was the video full face of Eden Minerals. And now I have fixed my foundation, like my base, because I am going to film. Uh, I'm going to film with this one. I have the lights behind me. The Paleo and the Archeo palette, because I'm going to do the this month's dusting off my palette. This light is horrible. I'm gonna put a lippy on and I'm gonna film that and I'm gonna film another video Then I'm gonna go and get to packages Then I'm gonna take off the makeup and do a second look because we're actually going to a dissertation party today Like tonight as well and I want to have another look and then I can get like two looks filmed in one day Because I'm actually free today as well Because in Sweden usually when you're working in an office and it's like a normal day Because today is not a red day when it's a normal day between two holidays A lot of people we call that a squeeze day like a normal day squeezed in between two holidays normally People that work in offices take the day off. So I took the day off to work on YouTube instead. Well, hello. I have been filming. As you can see, this is like a sneak peek of the look. Because I think that, the, yeah, this vlog is coming up before the look is coming up. So, sneak peek. Spoiler alert. I'm going to go now and I'm going to pick up two packages. One package at least. There should be two packages, but I've only like... I know it should be there, but I haven't gotten like the notification for it. But it should be there. But at least one package and then i have to then i have to take this off i have to do another makeup look because we're do like i said we're going to another dissertation party tonight another one of our friends is a doctor today hopefully um ricardo is actually at his uh, when he's going to defend his thesis like right now and i uh, i don't understand his subject so i'm not going to go because i'm but i could be moral support but on the other hand like i can't contribute with anything i think he's done, doing like cancer research or something which is awesome but like i don't know anything about that and also do you know what just happened oh i just got invited to a brand trip like an actual brand trip 
and it's two days when I'm in US and I'm so sad I never thought the day would come that brands would like want to bring me to anything I never thought the day would come when brands would want to send me PR can't believe I'm being invited to a brand trip and I can't go feel sorry for me but it's gonna be so exciting to follow the brand on Instagram when I'm in the US and to see where they were going and what they're doing and who's going because they said it was like a secret destination and I was like oh I want to go but maybe next time at least now I know that they kind of did at least they wanted me to come <laughs> at least they wanted me to come you can sit with us uh, so that's pretty exciting I have to say it's exciting it on its own even though I can't go it's pretty exciting okay so I am going out and I put the skirt on that I bought yesterday and I have like vans but I have socks these socks actually have an A A for Angie they're just mustard socks and I just I'm too cold. It's not very warm in Sweden today, so I'm wearing a sweater like this. And I did take um, the lip color off and just put some chapstick on because... Hi, sweetie! <laughs> because the color just didn't go with this look. And then I have the same uh, plastic bucket bag from Topshop that I had yesterday. So I'm gonna go and see if I can pick up any packages uh, looking like this. And that's gonna be the finished look. Hi, sweetie! Oh, it's good to know how much. Ska du stanna hemma när mamma ska gå hem till paket? Åh. Finis. Hej. Stay out of my bag. Hej, sweetie. Hmm. Okay, so I only got to pick up one package because apparently the HL has lost the other one. But I have my H&M package. I'm going to see if I can track down the other Asus one. But now I'm at the grocery store and I'm going to pick up some salad. This is usually something that a lot of grocery stores have in Sweden where you can just create your own salad. And I am uh, super intrigued. It even continues on here. So, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do for lunch. Okay, this is what my salad looks like, I think. Ooh, someone with a bicycle. I'm gonna go home and eat this, and then I'm gonna edit a video, and then I'm gonna take this makeup off, and then I'm gonna put on more makeup. Okay, I am done filming my second look. Apparently, I am going as Mimi from the Drew Carey show tonight at the dissertation party, but apparently that's what we're doing. <laughs> We're leaving in an hour. I think I'm gonna end the vlog now Because um, I am I think I'll start a new vlog tomorrow and I'll unpack the package that I have Because it's it's from H&M and I'll, I'll it's only two things in so I can try them on tomorrow in the next vlog For me, it's tomorrow for you in a, it's in a week Ricardo just came home. He's going to walk the dog and we're going to the dissertation party to a, I think it's more of a dinner than a party Both. Okay, both Apparently both. Not staying as late as we did last time. I'm an old lady, I need my sleep. But I've been very good though. I filmed eight videos in two days. I think that's pretty good. But I'm gonna sit down now and I'm gonna edit two of those videos and then I'll just end the vlog with some footage from the dinner. I hope you're having a great day. I will see you um, on Thursday for a new video and I will see you for a new vlog next week and I'm gonna start that tomorrow. Okay. Bye! Hot dog is not a sandwich. <laughs> Hot dog is not a sandwich. <laughs> Magnus, is hot dog a sandwich? The hot dog is a sandwich. Is hot dog a sandwich? No. <laughs> is hot dog a sandwich? No.